everyone. In today's video, we will be looking into assignments in MS Teams. We will see how to create assignment, submit the assignment, check and create the assignment. So let's dive into it. Assignments can save you a lot of time and they really help you when you are trying to push out contents and get some submitted work in return. First thing first, let's open Teams app. I am already logged in with my organizational account. I will create a new class. Let's call it Demo Assignment class. I will add one student for my organization. Next, I will log in into the student account from a browser. This way, we can see how the students view our assignment and also we will be submitting the assignment from that account. Diving back to the teacher account, since this is the first time that I am setting up the assignment in this class, we will be seeing the blank assignment section. Next in the student account, the assignment section will be blank there too. However, there won't be get started section and instead a message like this. Now let's go back to the teacher account and click get started. Click create and then the assignment. Let's start with providing the title of the section. I will title it as assignment one. You can also define category. However, I will leave it as it is for now. Next, start writing the instructions that your students need to follow. You can even place a link here. You can also do some word formatting. Next, let's add the resource file. There are different ways that you can add the resource file. You may attach the file from your OneDrive linked with your account. You can use class notebook. However, for this, you should have set up the class notebook first. You can use the link too. You can use the previous content from your other team. You can even attach file from your laptop. However, I will create a new file within the Teams app. Let's click Word document for Word file. I will name it as Assignment 1. For the submission, students can attach separate files or we can even allow students to edit our assignment file. For that, it is important that we turn on student edit their own copy. We can edit this file with the Word document application installed in our desktop or we can directly edit it here. I will be editing the file within the Teams app. I can put some questions here. The file will be auto saved. Let's close this. We can easily assign the points for this. However, here I will be using rubric instead. For that, let's click add rubric, new rubric to create a new one. You can even reuse the previous rubric. I will title this as rubric demo. There are different categories already placed here like excellent, good, etc. We can describe those. We can even add new category. Let's add one. This could be edited as per the policy of your organization. We can even add new one or delete those. Let's describe it as performance evaluation. We can even add the points to each and even change the value of the point. Let us also add total points to it. I will change it from 100 to 8. We can define teams to whom we want to assign this assignment. We can even define a specific student to assign the assignment. You can define the due date for the submission. You can also add the close date. After the close date, students cannot submit their assignment. You may add the close date a little later than the due date. That way, you can keep track of the students who aren't able to meet the deadlines but are still submitting and that you can have a list of students needing extra support from you. We will turn this off for now. We can save this assignment for later purpose or we can assign it right now. Let's assign it. We will see that this has been posted in the post section. If 
we open this, we can see that we can edit this again and can even see how student will view this. Here we can see that the students has not turned it yet. Now let's check the same from a student's account. A student can make the submission by clicking the post. Also, please note that once students viewed their assignment, the teacher can see that the students have viewed their assignment. Students can add different files related to the assignment. To add files, a student can do that from OneDrive or create a new file or use link or from different other teams or even from the device. Here, since the student has been allowed to make the edits, we will directly submit the answer within the same file. We can edit the file with the Word document application of our desktop or within the Teams app. I will use Teams app. We can even add relevant images. This could also be useful if the students want to attach some handwritten or scripted work into it by taking the snapshot and pasting it here. They can also do other different word formattings. We can even check the rubric to see the evaluation criteria. Next, let's check and get this assignment. We could see that the assignment has been turned in. Let's open this to check it. We can give our feedback or corrections in the same file. Let's use red color for feedback. Let's use the rubric for evaluation and add some comments. We can even add feedback in overall. Now press return. A student will get a notification of this and can now view their grades. They can further turn in with necessary corrections. This way, they can not just respond to the feedback the teacher leave, but it also gives them a chance to have a feedback loop. They can submit their work, get feedback, improve the work and submit it again to get more feedback. Next, teaser can view the complete list of the grades and can also download everything as an Excel file. That is all for assignment section of MS Teams in this video. Please check the playlist for more relevant videos on MS Teams. Thank you.